Andy, welcome to the Actors Process. Thanks for having me. So tell me about your acting. Well, it was, oh wow, 23 years ago this summer that I did my first feature film. I brought a prop. All right, you can get it over there. That's me with Anthony Hopkins in Berlin. Nice. Uh, it was my first movie, and uh, it was one of those things that the, uh, I was in the Army at the time in Berlin, and they were looking for Americans to uh, you know, do background work in this, in this uh, British movie that was being filmed there okay. in Germany. So uh, I did six different uh, days with, uh, with Tony, and then uh, once I got wrapped up with that, I went to pick up my last check. I jokingly told the guys at the casting agency, let me know when the next movie comes to town. I say, oh yeah, there's a director here from New York looking for people to go to Poland and film a movie. And I ended up working with Viggo Mortensen nice. the very next week in Poland filming a movie. So that was the beginning of my acting career. And then it was like a 12 year gap. I didn't do anything because I, I had a full time job. Then I started doing theater uh, with the military in Stuttgart. And I, I did five different shows over two years. And I came back to the States uh, in 2009 and last year, well, last summer, about this time, I decided, a friend of mine said, yeah, you need to you know, get back into acting after I left the improv group. Mm -hmm. and, and I'd done, uh, wow, 12 projects in the past 12 months, uh, from TV to documentaries, voiceover. I did a theater festival um, and uh, some feature films, some short films. It's, it's been busy, and considering that I'm doing it as, as a part-time job. Good. Or well, as a hobby, mostly. So do you have any uh, goals that you're looking to accomplish as an actor? Yeah, I think I like to explore film uh, more than I would uh, TV, and TV even more than I would theater. Uh, that would be my preference. I really, really enjoy working in films, and you hear, you hear folks talk about it's so much wasting uh, time waiting to be called on the set. And somebody told me in a movie recently, I said 90% of the time, actor span is waiting. So mm -hmm. you just get used to it. Uh, until I call you, you go do your thing. I got called at 4, 4 a.m. or for an overnight shoot the other day. I was there since 10 in, at night. So uh, films is definitely something that attracted me. Um, so that's what I like to continue to do. Good, so any training, formal training? I've um, been, um, Let's see, I, I've done some uh, webinars, some online stuff recently. Uh, one with Stephen Mitchell, there was one last night with uh, 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 another agency out of, uh, actually she's based here locally. Uh, you probably heard of, um, uh, God, the name escapes me right now. Dehart, Christina okay. Dehart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She had a nice little webinar yesterday. And I also did some uh, Shakespeare Company, uh, had a real nice five part series about seven, eight hours of, uh, of online on, on different things, everything from voice to, uh, to some exercises for, for performance. So that's been uh, educational, but most of <laughs> my training has really been OJT. All right, good. So have you heard of John Pilata? Do you know his Oh, absolutely. Actors? I mean, I, I read uh, about his, uh, his workshops. Uh, I mean, I'm subscribed to uh, the, the Brian Dragonaut newsletter. That's how I found out about your uh, event here tonight. So yes, there's a lot of stuff on, on, on John. And I know a lot of actors that have been uh, coached uh, by him. Uh, and they all speak very highly of him. Any expectations about training with John? Well, I, I can't say that I haven't considered it. Uh, just, you know, I haven't figured out the right timing and, uh, and you know, to get it done. But uh, I'm always open to expand, uh, you know, the training and, uh, and the doors that it will open. Good, yeah. So are you available to come back on the 25th? Right now it looks like I will be, it's funny, I told you, I, was, I just came back from Baltimore for an audition for a uh, um, public service announcement. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're shooting either the 23rd, the 24th, or the 25th. So one of those three days they're going to film in D.C. So hopefully, if they do it on the 25th, it won't be an all-day thing. Uh, so I understand the shooting will be in the evening, so yes. I, I should be available. I don't think it'll Good. be a problem. So tell me about the worst day on set. You know, it's, it's hard to think of, of, uh, of a bad day because I really, really enjoy and, and I have fun waiting. doesn't bother me. Uh, probably 
you know, being in a cold warehouse that we're using as a soundstage when the heat doesn't work, Ooh, the coffee yeah. wasn't ready in the morning, and we had leftover lasagna from the day before Ooh. as far as the craft services. That was probably <laughs> a, a rough day yeah. on the set. They run out of coffee, I'm gone, I'm, I'm done. Well, I was one of the first ones uh, every day because I was also an associate, uh, co-executive producer for that one film. Uh, and I ended up uh, sometimes making the coffee one as soon as I got there just to make sure that the actors had hot coffee when mm -hmm. they came to us since we filmed mostly over the winter. Very good. So, do you have a monologue for me? Yeah, I, um, I put something together from uh, Touched by an Alien. It's a Touched play. By an alien. Have you ever, ever seen Touched by an Alien? No. A little dark no. comedy that I had to put together for another audition, and I, I really like it. It's really funny. All right. It's short and to the point. Sandy Rivera, I live in Springfield, Virginia. So, Captain, do you think uh, these aliens will sign the Galactic Confederation Charter? You know, the last ones were pretty stubborn. Just promise me you're not going to cut off their hands off this time. I mean, I got alien goo all over my iPod. It still doesn't work right, okay? Oh, here comes uh, our guest of honor. Mr. Alien, come here. I need to do a quick scan. Let me see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. It's all normal. Have a seat. Would you care for some coffee or tea? I could generate just about any flavor of tea you would like. No? Mm, savage. Okay, Mr. Alien, this probably will not mean a lot to you, but I need your handprint on this device. And basically what that means is that your planet and all its resources will belong to, on, as, uh, to us as you have agreed to our Galactic Confederation Charter. Hmm? How's that? And by doing so, you will receive your very own personalized GCC coin with your own personalized serial number and on the back a holographic image of our leader. Hmm? How's that? Look at this. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Look, is that shiny? Look, look here. Look. Oh! He hit me in the eye. He hit me in the eye. Son of a... That's it. 